Uh, thank you all for having me here. My name is Ananya Bakshi. I just recently graduated from the University of Georgia and I studied economics and international business in my time there. Um, I miss it very dearly, and not only just the academics aspect of it, but also the extracurriculars. What I'll be talking about today, I'll be going into two different paths. Um, part one would be the high school um, extracurriculars, and then part two, I'll talk a little bit about college extracurriculars as well, um, because what I consider high school extracurriculars to be is kind of a trial run for what you want to continue doing and what you want to dedicate your time to. So the first thing I'll talk about is deciding what to pursue. I know everyone here, everyone who starts their college application or starts thinking about it is like, what's going to make me shine on paper? And so I want to ask you a question before we get started. What's more impressive, being a member of 10 different honor societies or volunteer societies, or being the president of, say, a no non-profit organization at your school. Do we have any answers? <laughs> all right, so all right, we've got one for the nonprofit. Anyone else? It's actually a trick question, honestly. Every experience is unique to each student and each each person going through the entire experience, right? When you are, what you should be doing when you are deciding what to pursue, I say the biggest question you ask yourself is what do I want to do? Because once you have that passion or that goal that you're striving towards, the rest kind of just falls into place. And I promise you it seems so much more impressive on your application if you actually like what you're doing than if you are just doing something because, oh, it might look good on paper, right? Um, I'll share a little bit about my experience and kind of how I went from my high school extracurriculars into my college extracurriculars.